going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to Bis. What the hell is that? What's falling? Oh god, don't fall on me. Okay, I think the tower is already breaking. Anyways, welcome back to Besiege, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're starting off with a difficult task. We either have to blow a princess... Oh god, this thing's gonna fall apart. And, uh, I realize that sounded kind of wrong. Or save a beautiful princess. Now, we're in a, a bus monster truck right now. Why? Because I had to press a button, and this was the first thing I found that could. I'm curious, what the hell is falling off of this thing? I mean, obviously, it's part of the tower, but how is this thing not falling over? Oh, you can see it's a little bit sideways. Oh man, it's not looking good up there. This thing's huge! How is it still stable though? So many things have fallen off! Alright, Princess, you're gonna have to be saved pretty damn quickly here. This- Oh god, what the hell just happened? I Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, anyways, so yeah, we have- There's supposed to be a princess up there. <laughs> what the hell? If I just let this thing go, it is so gonna fall down. I think the princess already fell. All right, so let's do the boring one first, most likely. I'm gonna save the princess, because this tower is gonna totally destroy her if I don't. And uh, there she is on the ground already, as a, as a peasant. Thank you, my lord. By the way, you are huge. All right, so let's waste no time and get into the fun one. It's always fun to drop a tower down, and I'm hoping that's what this is gonna do. I mean, blowing the princess can either mean two things here. I hope it's not the one thing, because, uh, yeah, I, I need to stick family friendly. Oh, God. Wow, that was actually... Okay, didn't actually destroy it. That was just a huge friggin' explosion. It is enough to make the thing fall down now, though, and holy crap, my bus. My poor bus. Look at <laughs> so, so that was real fire, because it definitely connected to my bus, and this is gonna hurt. This is really gonna hurt, and there it goes. Oh, that was awesome. Now, where's the princess? Somewhere in this rubble is a... Oh, th there's its pedestal. Oh, there's the princess! Okay, and that's a dead princess, that's for damn sure. So that was fun. All right, and we got another mud pit to play with. This time it's bigger, wider, and it's supposed to be less laggy. So I thought we'd quickly check it out again. Uh, we did check this out a couple weeks ago, if you are curious, or at least the first version of this. And now we got a bigger one to play with. So I figured we're in a monster truck right now. We may as well start with that, see how good it is at getting over this. Uh, as long as it keeps its speed up, it should be totally fine, but I'd have no idea if he changed the mud or what he did with it. Yeah, as you can see, as long as you keep that speed, you're totally fine, and uh, as long as we don't break this thing too. This thing, oh my god, my engine just broke. Did you see that? That thing just popped off of it. Holy crap, my back wheel just broke off too. So uh, it must be because of the mud kind of pulling on everything. Holy crap, my whole back end is just destroyed. Look at the tire slowly sinking into the mud and whatever else that other thing is. <laughs> it's just slowly going down. You can really see the weight of that brick now. All right, let's try and kill this horrifying meme once and for all. We got Happy Thomas today. Not really sure if we've seen this one. They're all blending together to be... T oh my god, I don't... Th I think I would have remembered that if we've seen this Thomas before. Uh, so yeah. It's, it's safe to say Thomas is the biggest meme in Besiege, and uh, this has got to be one of the most horrifying ones. I just wanted to see if it could take on the uh, mud. I don't think so. I think I found a way to beat Thomas, because he, he can't lift his legs up high enough. And there goes his leg. All right, he didn't even get a step in. Come on, Thomas, you can do this, buddy. Does he actually have fire? I, th I think you can use his fire somehow. This thing looks horrifying, man. And it's safe to say he's digging his own grave right now, quite literally. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. That face will never get old, though. That is the scariest thing in Besiege. And now it's being sucked into the mud. That's not horrifying either. Goodbye, Thomas! All right, and nothing like a skydiving map. We have a skydiving challenge here where you have to get to the bottom of the map. I think you can also try and go for these trophies along the way. I will say I gave it one shot, and I'm definitely not going for those trophies because this is supposed to be the easy one to use, and, uh, well, you'll quickly see how bad I- Oh, God, uh, how bad I am at doing it. Now, obviously, you're supposed to try- Jesus, was that a tornado? Where'd my head go? Okay, I'm dead. Anyways, let's try that again. Uh, that went really quick. I honestly didn't expect it to be that quick. So I'm gonna... Oh, gee, what the hell did I just hit? Oh, God. Okay, okay. You know what? You know what? You're just gonna live your life here now. Let's actually try and get off this. So come on. Come on. Use your body. There we go. We just gotta make it with all our legs to the bottom. This is harder than it seems. Let me just say that. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm still alive. That didn't even make sense, but I don't- I'm just hitting everything. God damn it, tornado! Just- 
is this is already hard enough. And this was the easy one, by the way. This guy was supposed to be the easy one. All right, I just broke his leg off. There's no freaking way I'm making it all the way down perfectly. This guy, it's like a Plinko machine all the way down. There we go. All right, so like I said, that was the easiest one. Um, Yeah, let's try this one a bit harder. He is now a bird. And now hopefully it's the same controls as last time. This guy looks a lot. Oh, Jesus. Okay, okay, actually... Oh, yeah. Okay, I can actually kind of control this one. The other one, it just it dive bombs so quickly. That was the hard part. Now I can actually... Yeah, this is this is the easy one, guys. I can actually kind of... Okay, I died. But, you, I mean, you saw that I was actually able to control it a little bit. It's still... Oh, that's why. I had it at 200%. No wonder why I'm trying to challenge myself. Okay, this should be a hell of a lot easier. I might actually even be able to uh, take these things down. You always gotta check your speed limit when you're starting to do this. Oh, this is great. Man, I'm so glad I noticed that. You guys would've been mad at me. Uh, I'm gonna try and get some of these. Oh, man, there's no freaking way. Uh, but mind you, I got really close, so I should be able to get one of them. But this is more like it. It reminds me of that game I played. What was that game called? Just like this, basically. Oh, God. Man. I just clipped that thing, and now all I am is uh, whatever that is. I have no idea. All right, well, we have to get one of the checkpoints at least, so let's try this. Oh, this is just... This guy is cool because it actually looks like a, 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 a skydiver, which is obviously really, really cool. There we go. I hit that one. It shined, so we got one of them. Oh, my God. Something happened with my wing there. I couldn't turn. All right, let's just make it a goal to get to the bottom of this thing and try and successfully land it. I'm going to try and stay as close to the side as, po as possible, and we're actually going to, you know, do this thing, but... Uh, yeah, because you could easily just go out and try and avoid all this. But obviously the whole fun is to try and avoid everything as you make your way down. So probably not the most technical of routes, but look at that. We're almost at the bottom. Oh, I'm stalling a little bit. Let me just try and land this thing on the ground and have a nice light landing. We didn't, we didn't get any of the points, but hey, that's fine. Look at this thing. It's such a good glider. It actually, it almost flies. Oh god, watch out for the tornado. That could be why I'm flying a little bit. I'm actually having a hard time. Just getting it to land on the ground. Come on. There you go. There. Oh, oh, you see, I bounced off. It can't land. Oh, are you serious? Come on. I just wanted to land it, god damn it. All right, just for funsies, let's try the hard one out. This is supposed to be the hardest one, so we'll see. Oh, I can feel it already. Actually, oh, 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 yeah, he likes to flip around. Damn it! I didn't even hit anything. All right, I don't need my head anyways. All I need is my wings. And yeah, this is so much harder. This is ridiculously hard because he constantly wants to go on the top, which is obviously going to confuse you when you're trying to control it all the way down. Mind you, he landed better than the other one at least. So yeah, this is pretty cool. It's actually designed for multiple people as you can see too. So I guess you could compare your scores and see who does the best. Really cool little mini game uh, here. And I knew one day we'd have GTA in Besiege, and uh, that's kind of what this is. We're going to slow it down a little bit because we are in the biggest sandbox map. It's a city, as you can see. We're also in a really cool car here. This is the DOR Multifunction Racer, and this is a really well thought out design, basically. It's supposed to be good on off-road and on-road. You can actually do things like lift the suspension. So, for example, if you're going off-road, you can lift it up a little bit. Is that a human? Holy crap, it is GTA. That was just a joke. Holy schmackamoly. We got humans walking around this world. Okay, sorry. I was showing off the car first before we actually check out this map. But I figured this would work because, yeah, it's got multiple suspension. You can actually do hard steering as well and then do softer steering. I don't know if you can see the distance change, but there's actually four different buttons for steering. It's just a really well thought out design. And you can even go the other way with the suspension and go down if you are on uh, tracks, for example, doing track racing. So it's got three different levels of suspension. Just a really cool idea. You can also turn it into drift mode, which you won't see, but it makes it slide more. Uh, anyways, we're going to slow this down a little bit and go check out what the hell this map is. So I think this is a work in progress, but obviously we haven't really seen a serious city yet. And I'm so glad somebody's actually taken the challenge to make one. Uh, unfortunately, Besiege is not really made for things like this, so you do have to slow it down. But I could see people having a lot of fun on this. Is that a skateboarder? That is a giant skateboarder. I mean, you got freaking a sewer system over here that you can play in. This is ridiculous. I, I am blown away already. This is a work in progress, and it looks great. We got, what is this, cow gas over here? I wonder if you can blow up the gas station. That would be great, but it's probably not that realistic. We got some sort of, uh, 
Hmm, this looks like there's a strike going on over there. I have no idea. This is so cool. It's an actual world in Besiege. So I, thought, I figured we'd just go around and check it out and check out this very awesome car as well. You know what? Let's lift that suspension. This road's a little bit bumpy. There we go. All right, looks like it ends abruptly over here. Like I said, I'm assuming he's going to add more to it. But then you got, like, forest over here with a lake. I mean, he didn't have to put anything out here, but he decided to anyways. And uh, I'm loving this car as well. You know what? Let's put it in drift mode. So I'm going to engage drift mode, and we'll see if this end... Oh, yeah, you can see the difference of sliding now. You can actually slide the end out. This is an amazing car as well. I'm so glad I decided to check this out. Both of these things, because this... Oh my god, I am just sliding constantly, as you can see. So yeah, I'm not really sure why the strike is going on. Neo Meg? It looks like that was the name of that place. So yeah, they're, they're actually adding corporations, and it's not just generic buildings and whatnot. There's humans going around here. We got, that looks, that's a freaking Starbucks over there. Or wh what's it called in this game for copyright issues? Is that a helicopter? Holy crap, there's a helicopter out there. This is a whole new experience. It is a Starbucks. It's a, it's a, yeah, just a Starbucks coffee. All right, well, hopefully he doesn't get uh, copyright striked because that would suck. All right, I'm going to reset. We're going to go down and check out the final road on this. And uh, yeah, this is just amazing. So I didn't really mean it when I said this is GTA and Besiege, but it quite literally is. We even got pedestrians. There's a freaking 7-Eleven. Oh, I, I hope we can go in there. That would be amazing. It looks like it's actually detailed on the inside as well which is holy crap it is look at this that is ridiculous are you serious how am i able even to even to run this we even got a freaking coffee machine with steamed coffee oh i could just look at this all day i didn't realize it was that detailed but i mean we got a fire station over here let's just go and explore hospital of course with a helicopter pad on the top a church i'm assuming yeah we got a church with a podium like what the hell how much time have you put into this thing? And then, of course, we got Neo Meg over here, the thing that uh, has a strike going on. Do these things, they even got shirts. They got freaking strike shirts. Fuck Neo Meg. <laughs> oh, my God. I am just, I am seriously impressed. I went into this not expecting too much. Okay, the gas station isn't detailed yet, but, I mean, the majority of the things, even the Starbucks. Oh, let's go into the Starbucks and see what's inside here. <laughs> Well, I didn't expect that when I went into the front door. Oh my god, that is the greatest thing ever. So yeah, we got one guy browsing Pornhub in the Starbucks. You know, typical Starbucks fashion. Can you actually order these? There's cakes here. Uh, I think that's supposed to look like a window glowing, and that's a really cool idea to do that. I mean, this is just amazing! Holy crap, I'm gonna have to follow this as it is developed, because it's already, I mean, pretty damn huge. You could definitely have fun in this. But the fact that they're adding more, at least I think he is, is uh, crazy. Now, is there anything... I don't think the fire station is that detailed. But the Starbucks and the other thing was. And uh, they were really detailed. So I actually want to correct myself. This is called Sam Iptova. I never said what it was called. And it's actually made by seven developers. It's a collective effort to design a whole city here. So I'm not actually sure if they're going to design more on it. I mean, it's already crazy. It's 14,500 blocks, if you are curious. So uh, that's pretty much the limit of what Besiege can handle for most PCs. I mean, even me, I'm having a little bit of a hard time right now, as you can see. But yeah, I just wanted to give them props. Sam Iptova, you guys should really check it out if you do want a city map. Uh, absolutely amazing. And they actually said that the pedestrians, or some of them, are killable. So I'm gonna go look for that skateboarder guy or something and see if we can run him over. And we'll see what happens. I guess we could go to the strike, because they're supposed to be... Oh, there he is right there. I just saw him. Alright, he's going the other way. I, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to easily get onto the sidewalk, so I'm gonna try and hit this guy. Oh! Oh, God! I didn't expect that! He turned into a damn peasant before I killed him. But that, I guess that's the only way you can really quote-unquote kill a guy I guess if you made him out of multiple blocks and made him physics based though you could totally destroy him as well but that's cool I, I guess they're technically walking peasants so yeah really awesome map with uh well that guy just vanished some amazing things done in this game like it, it, every week I keep saying this I've been playing this game for so long and the creative community continues to blow me away it is truly phenomenal all right, and fans of the Far Lone series will immediately know what this thing is. This is the land ship from Far Lone Sales, another series that I'm doing on the channel of a very awesome indie game. 
Uh, this ship basically goes to the bottom of the ocean and uh, makes its way across it. So in this one, uh, it has the steam engines. As you can see, I just engaged them and we are indeed going forward. I can also uh, go into the overdrive with it. If you remember in the original game, we can do that as well, which I just did. Uh, maybe we didn't have enough steam or maybe it's just really not that fast. We're actually picking up gear now, as you can see, though. We're going really fast. Uh, one downside is it doesn't have the sail completely uh, ready to go, so all you have is the steam version for right now, but you also got this really cool wheel up here where you can see it actually does follow exactly where I go. And what's cool about it is the, the steering doesn't automatically go back to the middle, and I would think in something like this, it probably wouldn't. So I, it, it shows you exactly where the top of the wheel is, which is smart with that little diamond. And uh, yeah, you can sail the besieged seas with this thing. Man, it, does it ever pick up some damn speed though? Now the developer says he wants to add the uh, fuel to the side here that actually moves, so that's, that's a work in progress. But I gotta say, the detail on this is amazing, it looks fantastic, and it's nice to see a Far Alone sales item in Besiege. And finally, I'm very excited about this one. We got another Transformer from Star Ellie. This is Scorn. Now, this is uh, one of my favorite Transformer designers. Star Ellie does an amazing job at making things that look good and also move much better now. Its original creations were not the best at moving, but as you can see, it does a good job at that now. But what he excels at is making the transforming animation. So let's see. Holy shit. Look at that. Look, that was amazing! His freaking his head is now in his arm. That just works so well. Let's go back. It's just, it's freaking magical, man. Looks like we did break a little bit of a piece off, but very smooth transformation, as you can see, going from the uh, Transformer version to the, uh, I guess you would say, Dinosaur version. And this one can also walk, as you can see as well. And it looks fan freaking tastic. Oh, dude. I love it. It's such a simple transformation as well. It basically just rotates its body 90 degrees and it's good to go. Uh, how it does it though, I have no idea. So you can also open and close the mouth and it's got a few animations on it. Control the little arm. I'm assuming, oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Curls for days, man. Curls for days. I like that he uh, does a little bit of a smoke as well. Let's um, try and transform to the other guy and see if he, I think he can move his arms as well. So yeah, you can actually control the arms. I wonder what happens if we try and transform with these arms controlled. Oh, look at the other arm. It like goes out like a tail. So if we lift this all the way up, I don't think this will work, but we'll try it now. <laughs> oh, his head's upside down. I love it. It still transforms. It's just a little bit more derpy. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this episode of the Best Besieged Creations. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, some absolutely awesome designs this week. Probably the most memorable week in a while for me, just because there was a lot of really unique stuff and really complex, amazing designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.